Uh, this is Tony Fowler again. In this video I want to show how I've made some simple improvements to the tailstock on my lathe. Just about all tailstocks have some means of lateral adjustment. This is done for two reasons. One is so that you can align accurately uh, a center or drill chuck with the headstock spindle but the other one is if you want to uh, machine a, a long shallow taper then you can turn between centers and offset um, the tailstock in a particular direction to give you a smaller or a larger diameter uh, on, the, on the end. But this particular tailstock has quite a bad design. It's obvious that you, 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 you don't want this floating about and the adjustment and the holding is done by two uh, bolts, one this side and one on the other side and we'll see the insides in a minute, see how that works. But the only thing that holds this top part onto the bottom part is the cam lock which is designed to lock the whole assembly onto the bed. But in this particular design, it's also used to hold this top part, the tailstock, onto the bottom part. So with constant use, tightening, loosening, tightening, loosening, th this joint is subjected to um, very little force, to quite a large clamping force. And that doesn't help um, uh, the accuracy of alignment. It tends to go out a small amount over time. My solution to that problem uh, is to bolt the top part onto the bottom part with four separate bolts, two in the front and two at the back. So let's see how that worked out. Here we are with the top part lifted off, just looking at the base. This uh, block that comes up here is the piece which the screws act against in order to move the top part sideways. Uh, one screw hits here, you can pr probably see uh, where it's worn through the, the paint through use and there's also a, a similar marking on the other side. This is the uh, uh, top piece, this is a drawbar for the, the cam lock which was what was used previously to hold the whole assembly down onto the bed of the lathe. Uh, I intend to drill four clearance holes through here in the corners. Uh, now they're going to be clearance holes because that will give me a little bit of uh, movement or uh, in order to uh, do the final alignment. On the, on the bottom block the material is fairly thin here but on, on the ends it's quite thick and it's enough to uh, uh, drill and tap uh, for the uh, threaded holes for the bolts that will hold the whole assembly together. Well I'm all set for uh, uh, drilling now. Uh, this is grey cast iron so it doesn't need any lubricant. The carbon in the uh, cast iron provides that. So here goes the first hole. Hole number one done. All four holes are drilled in the top piece now. Uh, they've been drilled uh, five millimeter, which is the tapping size for um, a six millimeter bolt, which is what I'm going to uh, use. Uh, I'll be drilling these out to seven millimeters once I've marked the bottom. Now to mark the bottom to line up. Uh, with the holes in the top part I'll be using this uh, transfer punch which is a five millimeter one so I'll put that in there a few taps with a hammer while I twist it and that one's done and then I just need to move on and do the rest right now it's time to uh, drill the holes in the base and then uh, tap them they've been uh, marked 
through. Uh, now these are going to be bl blind holes, uh, so I'm going to drill them fairly deep to get plenty of clearance for the uh, tap. There's plenty of uh, material here, so that doesn't matter. And I'll set a stop on the, the, the drill so that it will be uh, uh, done the same depth. All four uh, tapping holes have uh, now been drilled, uh, but I'm using a 6mm drill bit now just to uh, counterbore each hole slightly. It uh, helps guide the, the tap in when tapping, but also it ensures that uh, when the uh, bolts are tightened up, if it lifts any thread, it doesn't lift it above this uh, surface, which would... Uh, prevent the top part sitting down squarely. I always make it a practice of, where possible, of uh, counter-boring holes that are going to be tapped. There we are, that's all four of them done. Well the base is now set up on my uh, hand tapping machine, so let's zoom in. I'll just hold that uh, manually. This is a starting tap, so it's going in pretty easy. Pop it out. And that's it. I'll just do that three more times. Well, the, uh, the tapping's all been uh, finished now. Just to ensure that there's not even the faintest burr standing up from the uh, hole, which would uh, prevent the top part sitting down properly, I've got a little hand uh, diamond lap here which I'll just rub over the top of each one to ensure that there's no protrusions. Uh, the top parts now back in the drill to have these holes taken out to their final size. Well that's the first one finished. Well, the tower stop's now set up in the uh, uh, milling vise. I've got a spot facing tool uh, in, in the mill, uh, basically just to give a flat uh, surface for the heads of the bolts to sit on and be able to move backwards and forwards when I'm adjusting it. Well, that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, well, here we are. It's all finished and put back uh, together. At the moment, I've got these uh, bolts loose just to show that uh, this can still move backwards and forwards uh, by a small amount, which hopefully is all I'll need for alignment. Um, I've been uh, using a lathe for around about 60 years, and in all that time, I could probably count on the fingers of one hand the number of times that I've wanted to offset the tailstock in order to turn a taper. So I'm not too bothered about the fact that uh, this is going to be clamped permanently in place. Uh, in fact, if I ever did need um, to turn a shallow taper by offsetting the tailstock, there's nothing to stop me removing these uh, bolts and then I'm back in exactly the original situation where I can offset it to my heart's content. Now the only thing left to do is to actually do the alignment of the tailstock. That's going to uh, form the basis of a separate video. If, if you like this um, uh, video when you finish watching it perhaps you'd uh, care to like and share it and to be notified of any future videos including the one on aligning the tail stock um, please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching